Another one I, I made up by uh, Mother Davis, Andy Davis, really liked this one. I, 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 didn't, I felt uncomfortable singing his Christian songs in church. So I wanted to, I wanted to write my own semi-Christian song. Semi-Christian song. My spiritual song, we'll call it. And I use his... Uh, I'm always using this figure that my teach here, I call it the big C chord. Why do you think he played it like that? It always, it's, such a, it's really hard to play. It, because he didn't want us to have it too easy. <laughs> and I use that chord all over the neck. Yeah. And, and, I, and I teach it. I, when I teach here, I teach my course. I teach him this chord to start with. And the Gary Davis Weekend, I teach him like, say, maybe six songs. I don't know. I never planned it, but it's always sort of the same. And every song uses this figure somewhere in the neck. And that way, by the end of the weekend, you know how to make the damn chord, because it's a hard chord to make. Yeah. Like this song here I made up, I call I'm Going Home Someday. And, you know, it's got that big... If my road is rocky And my journey's rough If I stumble and I fall I'm going to pick myself up Keep marching forward gonna drive these blues away I've been a gambling man I've been a cheat and I sometimes sometimes I lost my way I'm gonna keep on searching for better days in a sheltered port of the storm I said yes I'm going home Deal, sorry. Yeah, absolutely, yeah, yeah. Very nice. It's right in that style, but yeah. it's your own thing. So the reverend's the reverend's in everything I write, really. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Pretty mm -hmm. much so. And he has such a logical way of writing, you know. It's always got that like verse thing happening. You can just really have this long verse and then this nice yeah. beautiful way to move the chords around. Yeah, well he was uh inspiration. Yeah. I mean it was the greatest uh yeah. it was the greatest friendship I had in my entire life. Yeah. Well, really practically. <laughs> I had a couple hey, don't tell that to your wife. <laughs> no, but it's just great to see how like you just took his stuff, made it your own, writing your own tunes. Yeah, it's great, and that's that's the that's like his legacy too. You know, well, it's I think. just yeah. And I think he would have right. dug that. I mean, even though we're not playing it like he does, yeah, because you know I don't do it either, and it's like that's that's a good thing. Yeah. Well, I couldn't. I didn't have the ability. I, yeah. I, I always uh, tell people I was a second word student, not knowing who the first one was. <laughs> but uh, I just like to hang out, and, and we did. I'd go over for a lesson, and I'd end up going shopping with Mrs. Davis and taking him to the Folklore Center. <laughs> or we'd go down to the Gaslight to see who's playing. And uh, he liked the whole court down there. And I learned a lot to, from him. He said, that boy that was up there, God damn mighty made us glad twice. I said, what do you mean? He said, we was glad when he finally got up there. We was glad when he finally got down. God damn mighty. <laughs> he didn't like it. He said, 
he didn't really criticize people, yeah. but he could be harsh. Yeah, yeah.